Everton back to the draw view. Newcastle United won three nil away at Norwich City on Saturday. Um, four wins in a row, and we are up to ninth in the Premier League. Yes, you heard that correctly. I mean, imagine thinking that when we failed to win the first fourteen games of the season, and um, I think it took us till like the twenty second of January to win the second game of the season in the Premier League. Wow, it's unbelievable. But um, looking at the starting eleven, Eddie Howe made some changes, which wasn't surprising with midweek. Um, Lascelles actually came in for Cher. Uh, Sean Longstaff came in. Joe Willett came in. I um, was a bit surprised that Ami Ron didn't start after his goal against uh, Crystal Palace. But I suppose, you know, after yesterday, Eddie Howe's got a bit of a selection headache. Um... Shelby came out the side. Chris Wood came out the side. I think Murphy started against his former club. And uh, he had the first real chance of the game. Gimaraes, brilliant ball over to Murphy. But uh, Krull came out with a narrow angle. And uh, Murphy put his shot wide. Norwich had a couple of chances. Um, bit of, that, um, bit of a let-off for us, really. First... So I had a ball played to uh, Dowell, who lifted it over to Bravko, who came out. But uh, he put it over the bar. Then Pukki took it round to Bravka, but we had a lot of defenders back. So Pukki, he played it back to Dowell, who um, again put it over the bar. Um, Dan Byrne had a header that went wide from a corner. And um, the first goal comes, good ball from Longstaff, over to Murphy, who plays a 1-2 with Kraft. Uh, he played at uh, ASM, I th think, um, trying to make the pass to Longstaff, but Longstaff didn't, it didn't, couldn't quite get there. But it came to Julian, first time, top corner for 1-0. Brilliant finish from him. And um, we got a second goal not long afterwards. Um, I think it was Guimaraes played the ball out. Murphy and Willett were going for it, but Murphy took control of it. He squared it to Julian. It's a bit of a, it's the kind of goal you score in FIFA, where you just try, try to sweat you with someone who's got an open goal. I mean, sometimes it can backfire. You get frustrated, but it worked. He found Julian, and. Um, he got his second goal of the game. What a chance for half time as well through Longstaff. Target put the ball in. And um, Krull pushed it out. But Longstaff leaning back puts it over. A bit like the chance he missed against Watford. Um, for his second goal in that game. Away from home earlier in the season. But um, the third goal comes shortly after the break. Tim Krull tries to play it to McLean. But um, it's poor from him. Guimaraes takes advantage. Chips it over him for 3-0. And uh, the two Brazilian lads have scored. I mean, who knows? We could get another one in um, Paquera in the summer from uh, Lyon as well. Apparently, um, they're good mates, Guimaraes and uh, Paquera. Uh, sorry for that. Um, but it's 3-0. Uh, and... Um, Game's done and dusted, uh, practically. ESM had a good shot. Um, could have made it four. Um, Kroll, I think, just parried it and um, caught the second attempt. Um, sorry, uh, caught the ball when it came back to him. Uh, Chilinton had a good uh, shot. Going for that, reckon you don't blame him for it. Uh, but... Um, Again, it was a bit of an easy save for Krull. I think Dowell had a free kick, which tested the Bravka, but he saved that well. Uh, Pukki had a chance, which went just wide. Um, Almiron came on, could have scored, but side netting. Willock tried to catch Krull out at his near post. Didn't quite come off. But, um, yeah, it was just a um, very good performance once again. And as I mentioned, we're up to ninth in the table. 
I know Leicester City have got that game, two, well, two games in hand and a better goal difference. Um, but we're above Brighton, Southampton, because both them drew the weekend. And um, Brentford also drew, so we're above them. Well, I think we were above them before, them and Southampton before yesterday, but uh, we've extended the gap on them. But as I mentioned, imagine thinking this during the first half of the season that would be in the top half of the tail. I mean, I'm not saying we're going to finish there, but this is what Eddie Howe's done, really. And um, do you know what? This is what he's managed to do with a team that was on five points after 11 games when he came in. Then maybe next season, who knows, we could um, aim for Europe. I mean, um, you might call it deluded, but... Um, if this is what he's managed to do with this team, then why not go for Europe next season? Um, Europa League, Europa Conference. I'll definitely love that. But um, as for Norwich, looks like, I mean, that's the fate sealed practically. I mean, if it wasn't sealed before, I mean, it seems to be them, Fulham, who keep swapping leagues every year. And uh, Fulham have come up uh, via the Championship. Uh, they've won promotion and um, Norwich it looks I think they'll kind of know they're getting relegated um, they're pretty well equipped to come back up but in reality I kind of feel for the Norwich fans um, knowing that because they never really have a plan when they come back up come up to the Premier League it seems I mean it just seems to be just go straight back down Um Obviously, we've seen a backfire where clubs have tried to run before the walk, like Fulham in 2019. But uh, surely Norwich can do better than this. Well, the Norwich board. Or uh, surely they can do better than this as a club in the Premier League. But that's all I've got to say, really, for the match reaction. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to my channel, check out my social media pages in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you there.